No, no. What are you? I have been waiting for you. Can I take a bite? You will like it. Come on. What do you mean by, can you take a bite? Wow, fresh meat. I can't wait to have a bite. I do not understand you. I am not a meat. You are scaring me. Do not joke with me, Peter. I want to eat. I am hungry. What? You can't eat me. Please don't eat me. You lie. I must eat you. I must eat you. I must eat you. Somebody help me, please. Somebody help me. Oh no. Is a dream. But I prayed before going to bed. Why did I have a bad dream again? He wants to eat me. Oh no. Oh no. He almost eats me, if not because I wake up. This is so scary. I am tired of having bad dreams all the time. Why can't I sleep peacefully and wake up peacefully? Every time a bad dream or the other, either they will be trying to eat me, or I will see something that looks like demons forcing me to sleep with them or pursuing me. Who is calling me this early? Hello, who is on the line? It is me, Peter. I called to let you know that your contract with JP Company has been cancelled. What? But why, after all I went through to secure that contract with them? What did I do to deserve that kind of disappointment? I am sorry, Mr. Peter. I did my best to make sure it is you that it favors, but the director of the company decided to give the contract to another. Oh no, oh no. I suffered so much to get that contract, and now they give it to another. I knew it would be like this when I had that bad dream. Every time I have a bad dream, one thing or another leaves me. E, e, e. I'm tired of all this. There is not a day when I sleep without being tormented in my dream. The worst part is that when I wake up, it will affect me. What should I do? Even sleeping scares me because of the nightmare. Peter, what is it? I heard you scream. Mother, I'm tired of having bad dreams all the time. But I told you to always pray and free your mind from the fear of bad dreams before going to bed. I have done all that, Mom, and yet I'm having an even more terrible dream. I'm tired. Today the human dragon almost ate me. If it wasn't for the fact that I woke up suddenly, that dragon would have eaten me. Is okay? Peter? Put yourself together and don't panic about the bad dream you had. All you should do is just pray against it, then remove your mind from there and don't believe it. One of the reasons we have bad dreams and sleepiness at night is because we occupy our minds with so many worries and fears, and when our minds are occupied with worries, fears, and anxiety, it will cause a nightmare for us. Therefore, we should make sure we free our minds before going to bed. Mother, you won't understand. I just lost the contract I pursued with all my energy a few minutes ago. What causes it, if not the attack I had in the dream? How do you want me to put myself together after this? Peter listen to me. Don't believe you lose the contract because of the nightmare you have. Believe it is not meant for you. That is why it is so. And avoid negative imagination when going to bed. Our hearts are powerful to the point that anything that occupies them and keeps occupying them will come to pass. This is why it is difficult to receive a blessing from God if we don't ask with a pure heart. Anything your heart imagines will be impacted in the brain, and once the brain has collected it, it will start manifesting. This is why we shouldn't have negative thoughts in our hearts. Mother, this has nothing to do with my heart. I believe it is no longer ordinary. My enemies out there are trying to destroy me. They keep torturing me in my dreams. They are the ones doing all this to me. But what did I do to them? That they should be tormenting my sleep. You see, you have already believed in your heart that your enemies have the power to torment you in the dream. That is why you keep being tormented in the dream. It has everything to do with our hearts, Peter. Our hearts are a battlefield that needs serious attention. As long as you are afraid of having nightmares, they will continue to torment you. This is why the Word of God says, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Our hearts are the basis of our greatness or downfall. Mark 11, verse 23. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. You can see how powerful our heart is. 
This is why we should not fail to control it. Everything a man is or wants to be is first prepared in the heart. Before it starts showing outside, the heart has already arranged it the way it will. Our hearts can be considered our enemies, because it is from there that a lot of evil comes out. For someone to kill, he has to think of it and plan how to do it in his heart. To lust after something, or do any kind of evil, it is done in the heart first. Matthew 12 verse 34 O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Even if you take poison and do not believe it will hurt you, it will not hurt you. This is why Satan first of all puts fear in us before striking, because he knows that, it is only when we believe in his fear and start trembling that he can win us, and if we don't believe it, his attack will come to nothing. We are created to be gods, meaning, anything we believe in, speak it out, and pursue becomes reality. And anything that occupies our hearts becomes our god. So there is no way our hearts will be filled with worries, fear, and depression, and we expect not to have bad dreams and sleeplessness at night. If you free your heart while going to bed, then your dream will only be when God wants to speak with you. You know that kind of dream is different, whether bad or good. When you are in a dream and see a friend wanting to stab you or somebody you know trying to collect something from you, those types of dreams are just a warning from God to stay away from such persons, or to be careful with them. Mother, you are not getting it at all. All you are saying is scattering my head. In fact, I know what to do. Enough is enough, please. Peter, where are you going? Compose yourself and come. Let's pray against it. Oh no. They think they can destroy me. I will tell them they can't. I need to find a solution to these nightmares. I mean, I can't continue being tortured all the time in my dream. While they sleep peacefully. Yah, Jehovah Emmanuel. Yah, Jehovah Emmanuel. Greeting my prophet. Greeting. What brought you to the holy ground? Prophet, I have a problem, and I need a solution to it. That is why I am here. You are on holy ground? Fear not to speak. Prophet Isaiah is here. Prophet Jeremiah is here. Prophet Ezekiel is here. Prophet Daniel is here too, and all other prophets. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, including Yah, Abraham, Moses, Samuel, David, Elijah, and many more, are here. So speak. I am listening. I don't sleep at night because of nightmares. I have prayed and prayed, but nothing seems to change. In fact, I am always afraid of going to bed at night because of bad dreams. Sometimes I don't sleep at night, and it has been affecting me in all areas of my life. Mentally, spiritually, and even in my business. And I believe they are my enemies. Please, Prophet, I need a solution. My friend who directed me to you said you give solutions to every problem. And you shall have your own solution. Amen. Now listen. I will give you a spiritual stone. Put it in the four corners of your bed, while calling all the prophets to come and fight for you and I assure you that you will sleep like a baby every night. I knew you would help me. Thank you very much. It will cost you $500 only. That won't be a problem, my prophet. I shall do as you say. Please give me the stone. At least let me sleep like a baby at night. That is all I ask for. I didn't ask for much. Prophet Elijah. I have come. Fight my battle for me. Prophet Jeremiah I have come. Please fight those who are giving me nightmares. Prophet Ezekiel and Daniel, are you there? Please come and fight for me. Prophet Moses and Samuel, where are you? The war has begun, and it is your war. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, as I throw the stone in the four corners of my bed, let it protect me. So shall it be. Nonsense. Let them come again. Let me see. Peter I have told you to stop watching scary movies. It is not good for your health. It will occupy your mind and put you in a bad dream. Mother, stop bothering yourself. All these are mere dramas. They are not real, and they don't have any bad effects. They are just for entertainment. So you don't know you can be initiated through some movies you watch and books you read. Many of these scary movies we watch are not just mere movies. They were originally created to initiate people. 
There are some books you will read, and life will scatter. I have seen a person who got mad after reading a book. A lot of people got initiated. After watching some movies. Some people are suffering today as a result of some movies and books they engage in. Some people are into secret cults without knowing it as a result of movies, books, and places they like going. That is why we have to be careful of the movies and books we read. And some places we go to. Don't say I will not think about it. As long as you watch it, it will enter your memory. Don't worry, mother. I am not afraid anymore. I now have a better solution. Anyway, I want to go to bed. I am tired. Mother, you are rushing to bed too early. You who don't like going to bed on time are rushing to bed. Aren't you coming to join me? Let's watch this horror movie. It's very interesting. You will love it. No, I am tired. Moreover, I don't watch such horror movies. It is not good for my health. I love sleeping like a baby. All right. Good night, mother. Let us pray so that I can go to bed. Mother, go ahead and pray. I will do mine in my room. All right. Good night, son. Good night, mother. Pray, pray, as if I have not been praying all this while I have been having those nightmares. I now have a better solution, please, and there is no way I will stay without watching horror movies in the 21st century. It is not possible. They are movies made for big boys and big girls, very entertaining, if I don't watch it, how do I enjoy my life? And if I don't enjoy my life, what is life for? Wow, look at the way that guy stabbed the other guy. See, he is eating his brain. Wow, this movie is too tough. This is the kind of movie I like watching. I think I have to go to bed now. It's midnight already. Yeah. Who's Who are you? You look like me. Yes, you are me. No, you can't be me. I am not red. <laughs> Somebody, help me. Somebody, help me. I am not crazy. I am not crazy. Oh no, oh no. Mother, mother, wake up. Peter, what are you doing in my room at this hour? Please, mother, allow me to sleep in your room. Why, what happened to your own room? Please go back there. You are not a child. Stop acting like one. Be a man. I can't sleep in my room alone, mother. I don't mind sleeping on the floor, or better yet, allow me to stand here till morning, please. I told you to stop watching horror movies and pray with me. What did you do? You say no. You have a better solution. Is this your solution? How on earth do you expect me to allow a grown man like you in my room? Peter. Mother, it will soon be morning. Please don't reject me. I am still your son. Go back to your room and pray. Allow me to sleep. Oh no. How can I see myself being mad? Oh God save me. No, I am not sleeping. I am not sleeping. God save me. Oh, thank God, it is morning already. I never knew he was fake, and he collected my hard-earned money. He is going to give me back my money today. Oh, yeah, Jehovah. Prophet, or whatever you call yourself, I need my money back. Give me my money. What you gave to me is not working. In fact, yesterday's night was the worst night I had. Have you gone nuts? How dare you come here to make noise? Listen. If you want to talk to me, better calm down. Otherwise, get out before I lose control. I have nothing to talk to you about. All I need is my money. Let me look for people who will solve my problem. Yeah, yeah, Jehovah Emmanuel. If you don't leave here now, I will turn you to those things you saw in your dream. No, no. I am sorry, Prophet. I promise I won't talk about my money again. Now get out. Thank you, sir. Why me? Why me? Why me? Brother Peter, what is pursuing you? Pastor, I am having a deep problem. I don't sleep at night. There is no night. I close my eyes without seeing scary things in my dream. It is affecting me seriously. And I don't understand why I can't sleep peacefully. Maybe it has to do with the way you live. The kinds of things you enjoy doing, seeing, 
or thinking physically can affect you negatively in a dream. Pastor I do not understand you. There is nothing I am doing wrong. This is the handwork of my enemies. Listen when you enter your room. Remove every picture or piece of stuff you bought for decoration except your own picture. Some of the things we bought for decoration have a negative power that surrenders them. Many of them turn to something evil to attack us while we are sleeping. This is why we must make our rooms appear very simple. We don't need all those decorations. A simple and neat room gives you peaceful sleep. So take out anything you do not understand in your room, no matter how much you bought it, and then make sure there are no cobwebs in your room when cleaning or sweeping your room. Neatness is the number one solution. Even God will not answer you if you are praying in a dirty environment. Some people don't know that dirtiness can also prevent answers to their prayers. That is why one of God's names is purity, neatness, no spot at all. Holiness is not only without sin, it also includes neatness. And this is why there is this saying that cleanliness is next to godliness. Isaiah 1 verses 16 to 17. Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. And Psalm 51, verse 7. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. And verse 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. David knew that God hated dirtiness. The majority of the bad dreams we have are the result of dirtiness. Excessive stuff we call decoration is dirtiness and will not only cause bad dreams, but also hinder answers to our prayers. So keep your room and, if possible, your house neat and simple. Really, a neat room brings fresh air and keeps God's presence, which will prevent bad dreams and calm the body. The moment you enter such a room, you will not know when you will doze off, and you will sleep until someone wakes you up. If you don't want to have a bad dream, keep your room simple and neat. Psalm 24 verses 3 to 4. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false, and does not swear deceitfully, 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1. Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. And remember, cleanliness is next to godliness. Also, if you can stop watching horror movies, it will do you good. If a science 4 verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. Stop giving the devil an opportunity to enter. Some of the horror movies we watch have a heavy negative effect on us, both physically and spiritually. If you think this is a lie, stop watching anything that doesn't glorify God for one week. This is why David said in Psalms 101, verses 3 to 4. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Why not say that too? Then avoid heavy meals before bed. Going to bed heavy gives you sleeplessness, and that affects us negatively. When you wake up, you feel so weak instead of feeling strong and fresh. To avoid it, eat light food at night. Philippians 3 verses 18 to 20. For, as I have often told you before and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. Proverbs 23 verse 20. Be not among drunkards or among gluttonous eaters of meat. Also, exercise during the day. Take active steps to manage your stress during the day. When we overwork ourselves, it is not good. It makes us see ourselves in a dream and not be able to walk, run, or face challenges in the dream which will make us wake up very weak, and that is not good. John 6 verse 27. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval, so we shouldn't overwork ourselves. We should take life easy. Also, if you are the type that takes alcohol, stop it. Proverbs 20 verse 1. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is intoxicated by it is not wise. Not only is alcohol a sin, but it also has a negative effect on us. Stop taking alcohol and caffeine. They make one restless, and restlessness can cause nightmares. If something's bothering you, don't let it be in your mind. Talking it out with a trusted friend, family member, 
or professional can help release some of the burden. Then occupy your mind with the Word of God. Before you go to bed, make sure you read one verse of the Psalms. For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews 4, verse 12. Let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Colossians 3, verse 16. Sanctify them with the truth. Your word is truth. John 17, verse 17. Meditate on it and pray. And they will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matthew 16 verse 19. You see, we are everything about our mind, and our mind is us. Whatever occupies our mind becomes reality. This is why, when negative things occupy our minds, we become negative and start seeing negative things in our dreams. What do you love seeing or thinking about during the day? Make sure it is positive. Avoid excessive friendship and eating outside. An excess of things is not good. Watching the way we live our lives really matters. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. If you can do them, congratulations, because you will be sleeping like a baby. Thank you very much, Pastor. I think I have already found peace. Yes, he was right. I have a lot of pictures different styles, and symbols that I use to decorate my room as the big boy that I am, and I also watch a lot of horror movies. I have to stop them starting today. Those toys, paints, symbols, and pictures, some you call celebrities, some you say I just like them, then place them in your room or house. They can initiate you, torment you physically and spiritually, bring nightmares to you, bring a lot of problems into your home and life, and equally kill you. Take them away. You do not need them. Keep your room simple and neat. Peter, where are you coming from? Mother, I will tell you later. For now, I have a clean up to make in my room. There are a lot of things that are not supposed to be there. I need to throw them out. Excuse me. Thank God he is coming back to his senses. Now I see. The pastor was right. What am I doing with all this stuff on the wall? What sign do they represent? Or which cult do they represent? What is the meaning of those symbols? Who is behind the production? Of what reason they brought it out, and of what use it is to me? Do they glorify God? I should have asked myself that, a long time ago, Satan used big boys, big girls, rich men, and rich women things to deceive us. We do not need them. They are toxic to our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for opening my eyes. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23 verse 4. Now I can sleep peacefully. Good night to me. Peter. Peter. Won't you go to work? It's late. I haven't seen him sleep this long before. What is going on? Peter, wake up and go to work. What? When did the day break like this? Oh no, I overslept. I need to set the alarm from now on. Nightmares can be really disturbing because they cause restlessness and sleeplessness, and when we have sleeplessness, it affects us mentally and in every area of our lives, which can kill slowly. That is why we need to watch the way we live our lives. Then, you will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty, and will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, 
The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, and no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91. This is the promise of God to you. Fear not. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.